you have to kill them? Oh, oh my god. Oh, I did pick up a wand. Welcome back, my oodles and oodles, to more Baldur's Gate 3. We left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger. We're ready to go ahead and kill an old hag. Let me just describe what has transpired so far in our adventure. Since meeting up with a bunch of new companions, and I really do mean a bunch of them, we've done a ton of main quest stuff as well as a little bit of side stuff. I'm going to talk a little bit about the side stuff because that's what we've been doing the last two, three episodes. And then we're going to go ahead and get right back on the main quest trail, which our main quest is mainly to go find a cure to the Mind Flayer parasite problem. Our companion, Halzen, said that the illithid parasites have been altered by followers of the absolute. If we want answers, we need to head to the cult's base at Moonrise Towers. Some of the side stuff that we've done so far, we confronted the paladins chasing Karlak, our newest member of the team. She's joined our search for a cure for the parasite. We broke up a rather kind of awkward scene in a barn with a troll and something else. It was kind of disturbing. We also managed to meet two citizens. I would say I would call them citizens, but they were more like bystanders. They were looking for their sister who was mourning the loss of her husband while also being pregnant with her child. She sought help from a hag who ended up having a confrontation with the two brothers, I would say. The two brothers did not trust us enough to save their sister, and in doing so, they ended up forfeiting their own lives. Upon approaching Auntie Ethel's cottage, or creepy cottage, or whatever cottage you want to call it, it's very, it's very disturbing of a place. We saw Marina, the sister of the two brothers that are now gone, and it seems like she's being held captive there, not really enjoying herself all too much. After confronting Auntie Ethel, things turned violent, and she definitely is not happy with us. We've entered her play dungeon, I would say, and I feel like we're about to enter her chambers and kick her butt, and that's where we currently are. We also managed to break up a fight between Will and Carlac, and now Will is totally chill with Carlac. Oh, what's this? Whispering mask. If I put on the whispering mask, does that mean that I can walk through? I'm gonna pick up four whispering masks and maybe we all need to put it on to enter the door. Oh, I do just need to walk through. Oh, I didn't need a mask at all. Okay. Oh my good God. I did not, I did not anticipate people being in here. <gasps> Whoa, there is actually some very tough people in this chamber. Hmm. Was there any like potions or scrolls? Oh, I threw all my scrolls in the chest. Don't make me hurt them. Oh, they don't want to hurt us. Maybe we shouldn't hurt them then. Oh, I don't want to hurt them. Maybe I can just subdue them. If I can get, is there like a way out? I'm wondering. What are these like dangling things? I wonder. Nah, I'm trying to think if I could save these guys. I don't think I can. Do I really have to kill them? Oh, I guess it can't be helped. I'll. I'll see if maybe I can, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can maybe try to figure out how to uh, unleash their spell. I don't know. Oh my God, I did it. It took me so long to kill. <laughs> All of these people. Oh my god. I feel bad. I, I don't think there was a way for me to save them. It was hella difficult though. I probably should start distributing a lot of the potions I have. I wonder if I can long rest real quick. Because I feel like my party needs it. I, so I did that I did that battle twice. It took me a, a little bit to figure out. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large thick letters across the rest of the text. So it's a good thing we didn't wear the mask. <laughs> we have the mask, but I have a lot of masks. Whispering masks. Yeah. Inter okay. So I picked them all up, but I didn't wear any. Yeah. These people were hard. They were all level four. Very difficult. I hope that I can actually kill her even with my party being a little exhausted. Oh, this doesn't look good. Perception failed. How do we clear all this mist? I don't want to go through the mist. I want to like jump. Ooh, heavy objects can be placed over vents to stop anything dangerous from exploding. Heavy objects? I don't have any objects. I'm just gonna jump. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump away. Disarm. Oh, so don't step on the flowers. Got it. Jesus Christ. Auntie Ethel, Jesus. 
Ancient Adobe. I don't like this at all because I my, my party is hurting. We are hurting so bad right now. I don't think we'll be able to survive an attack from Auntie Ethel. Oh! Auntie Ethel! Wait, there's four? What? There's four Auntie Ethels? How do we get her down from this cage? Can I catch her? How do we get her down? How do we fight four level fives? Should Maybe this was not the quest to do, but I don't even think we'll be able to do this. Oh, they're all illusions. Oh, that's the Auntie Ethel, isn't it? No? Oh, I didn't get this cutscene. I just danced around it real quick. You come to my home. Interfere in my business and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair, you petulant bollocks! Hmm. I'll rip your spine out your asshole! Oh my god! Blood to spice my stew. This is so hard. <laughs> keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. So, that sounds like a lot. I'll bring you back. And do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. No, we can't leave you. You want the girl so bad. Fine. See, now I don't know how to stop the cage from getting all roasted. So then how do we, do we, th I wonder if we throw something on it to douse it? You know what? I think my team needs a long rest. I, I don't know if I can do this. This fight is really hard. I also think I need all of my spells. I think it would be nice to have all my spells. Maybe we level up first and then come back or I don't know. Long resting should be fine because I just don't have any, I don't have any spells at all. Oh. More stuff. Oh, this is for the Wills thing. She's coming. Who? Oh God. Oh, she's on the cover art. Will, you've been naughty, and you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it! Anyone but her. Garlic, how do you know her? Just in the who not who? Okay, just who in the nine hells are you? Well, well, aren't you a lush, lush, luscious thing? God's damn devil, get out of my camp! Aren't you a luscious you thing? Flatterer. Why, if I had a warm heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. No! I, I protect my own. How do I how do I work with her? But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. <laughs> and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. <laughs> You told me, devils only. She's a tiefling, not a monster. Oh, I thought so too. I didn't think she was a devil. Found his this bar. looks like a devil, though. Rules G, section nine. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. True. That is true. Get to the point, devil. What do you want? If we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a damped finger on Karlak. Last it all, Will. Why didn't you tell me about her? I've heard enough. You're not leaving this place alive. Can I fight in the camp? Is that a thing? If we kill Kar uh, you better not lay a damned finger on Karlak. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. Hmm. Wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. I don't like Will, but I mean... Is there anything we can do to save him? 
Oh, oh no, he's not gonna be very happy now. Is he like an actual devil now? That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. I love her face. Like her mannerisms are very on Let's point. It's very good. Fair without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. <laughs> well. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Damn. That's cool, though. So you can actually turn into a devil, and then that's when your eyes go red and everything else. A oh, lot of story, um, story with these guys. Let's talk to Karlak first. Also, Shadowheart is so thirsty for Karlak, and it it disturbs me. <laughs> I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Oh. Oh, Astarian. Was it an e? Is it even a lesson? I didn't expect his shirt to be off. I thought he was going to talk about this? Will and Karlak. Want me to take a look? Doing some stretches before bed. I thought you didn't care what Cazador wrote on your back. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I admit I got curious. I've been tracing the scars on my back with my fingers, trying to read them by touch. But I can't. They may as well be written in Rashini. Want me to get a mirror? Duh, you can't see a mirror, dummy. Let me have a look. I... This isn't your problem, you know. I know. Now shut up and turn around. All right, if you don't want answers. All right, if you don't want answers. No, <laughs> yeah. The pattern swirls before you, runes hacked crudely into his flesh. You can't read it, but you recognize the letters. Infernal, the language of the hells. And? What does it say? Hmm. It's written in Infernal. I can't read it. I'm not sure. Hold still. I'll draw it for you. There once was a cleric on Gond who was cursed with a very small wand. Oh, <laughs> why would I say that? I'm not sure. Hold still. Let me draw. I'll draw it out for you. I feel like if I draw it, he'll be able to see it. Got a nice view from here. No, no. Horny jail. Horny jail. Straight straight to horny jail. <laughs> I should have like a dunce hat for horny jail. What in the hells? What did he do to me? What does it say? Should we have the uh, uh should we ask the others they might know something? It's a strange looking poem. What does it matter? You're free of him now. It's a strange looking poem. What does it say? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poet. It's a good thing I did not pick that answer. <laughs> Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. Oh, you really have no idea what it is? Did you ever see Cazador write in Infernal before? Someone out there will be able to read it, I'm sure. I'm sure. But what would it say? It's true. Th thank you, by the way. This is... Well, it's something. We'll figure it out, I promise. Don't mention it. Just make sure it doesn't get us killed, all right? Uh, we'll figure it out, I promise. How sweet. Stop it, Astarian. Shadowheart is so horny for Karlak, it's crazy. All right, Will, what's going on? God's damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. Well, you signed your I soul away. Devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pacts tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't Warlock. severe punishment. I would have to agree. Half-truths and devil packs. You're not worth the soil you stand on. Oh, Jesus. The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. What did you expect? She's a devil, hardly a paragon of honesty. You've been turned into a devil, an appropriate punishment, I'd say. You're lucky she didn't take your soul when she came. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but 
I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. True. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. How would you have known it was for the good if she tricked you once? She probably tricked you again. She's probably tricked you a lot of times. What are the terms of your pact? You should get it. Uh, you should get out of this pact. How in the hell did you get involved with Missouri? Uh What are the terms? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden. Unless Mazor But I'll say this. It was worth the sac- Hmm. Worth the sacrifice, huh? Can't tell me about the pact, huh? Fine. We can't help you. I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't know how worth it it is, is to go back into the bog. I, I don't have any heavy objects. Maybe we come back when... When I can actually kill her. <laughs> Unless I can do it now that I've... Can I do it now that I've rested? I'll, I don't know. I mean, one of the biggest things that I'm struggling with is to even get down there in the first place. Now that I've been rested, maybe we could do it now. There is a lot of spells and stuff that we can do. And it'll be really helpful now that I can actually use them. I'm not sure how to get the girl down though. All right, let's try this again. Can I get her down without getting caught like this? I'm gonna put a Starion up here real quick because I know where she's gonna spawn. And I'm gonna, how do I get him to stay again? Okay, so if I put him there, then he's good. Now I can actually move Karlak. Okay, so I'm understanding the group stuff now. Okay, here we go. Wait, why is a Starion out of the thing now? Okay, I put him in the battle now. I think we're good. Damn it, I don't think I did it right. I don't know how to get her. Oh, okay, so there's a couple things we could do. So activate the glowing yellow orb on the west side of the pit or put the out the fire with the bottle of water, which I don't have a bottle of water. Oh, I see it. Can I go in here? I probably, <laughs> I probably can. Here, let's touch the glowing orb. Let's move a star in again. I think I'm doing this correctly. I'm trying to do what you guys said, which was place everyone in like strategic places. It might make it easier and I have to agree. So I'm going to put Shadow Heart here. I think the split, oh, oh no, I lost invisibility. Damn it. I think I, I think I did something. I used the spectral hand. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, you can move everyone so individually. Oh, <gasps> that's insane. Oh, hell yeah. I, that was really cool doing that so strategically. And I'd managed to not light the cage on fire. Oh, that's so cool. Don't ask me how, if I, I need to win this now. I need to win this because I think, I don't think I can do it again, honestly. Oh no, Garlic. Oh, these are like very tricky. She's like using a ton of elute. Like, uh, what, are, what is she using a lot of? She's using a lot of illusion spells. Oh, I picked right. I picked the right, the right one. Garlic, no. Yes! Uh, oh, I want to kill her so bad. No! Oh, that is scary. That's scary. I don't, I don't, I didn't know if she was going to be able to uh, do that again. That's crazy. We should probably heal Karlak real quick. Oh, <gasps> I didn't expect her to actually stop. In the waste of time, I find a way to return. Always have. Always I am will. shocked that I actually got through that. Holy cow. Pleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. Oh, oh, I don't know why I'm, I want to be... 
I want to be myself. Uh, what I want is Mirina, alive and free. Go on. Indeed, I'll take your... Uh, I'm gonna say go on. I knew I liked you, dearie. <laughs> Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. Ooh. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Ability score plus one? Let me keep the girl and her babe. What? No, why would I do that? Well, we just met for impossible power. It's a fine deal. A star in. Deception, my reinforcements are nearly here. Give me the girl and the power and they'll spare you. Berserker intimidation, girl, power, everything. Or I turn your skull into a piss pot uh that's kind of cool deception i don't know how i don't know how much carlax deception is but what about berserker intimidation i'm gonna add a bonus yeah add guidance come on baby <laughs> let's go give me the power and the girl let's go I'm gonna gain everything out of this fight because that took me so freaking long. The, the sun is literally going down and I have to turn on my light. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. Ew. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deals off, you dumb cow. And you've heard to thank for Oh, great. <laughs> I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Best of luck, auntie. Get out of here before I change my mind. If I ever see you again, you'll be a fertilizing... You'll be fertilizing the swamp. Get out of here before I change my mind. Oh. Don't act like you won't miss me. That was a crazy fight. That was a crazy fight. You ruined it. You ruined everything. Uh, okay, don't talk to me while I'm trying to pick rewards. We made a deal with the hag in exchange. She gave us a great power. Are these all the same? I think they're all the same. You bastard, you ruined it. You ruined everything. Slow down. What did I do? I'm sorry. I was trying to help. This was interest. This was an interesting way of thinking me. I don't need this. Good luck out. This is an interesting way of thinking me. You want thanks? A slap is all you deserve. I should have let her fall. Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you. Because of Auntie Ethel, you nearly died. Don't be naive. A hag was never going to help you. Hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? This. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. You were going to trade your baby for your dead husband? With hags, nothing is ever over a life for a life you really must love your husband you were going to trade your mm, you were going to trade your baby for your husband don't judge me i have nothing my baby would have been raised in rags auntie ethel promised to give this child a good life teach them magic even more than i could have done uh, I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, th is this what Ethel told you? Don't sell yourself short. You can raise this child. From what I've seen, you'd make a terrible mother. You should have known better. Hags don't help anyone but themselves. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm torn between the last choice and the first choice. Is this what Ethel told you? Don't sell yourself short. You can raise this child. I want to say that option too. You can do this. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. I am. That is quite the decision to make. Uh, also, I'm going to turn on my light real quick. You can see me. Hey, let's go. Um, Yeah, no, that was crazy. I want my reward now. I also got an award. Re I, I also got a reward for that. Uh, party, come on. Everyone group up. 
Come on. Ah, oh, thank you so much to everyone who told me about that feature. That's amazing. So are we like in another part of, yeah, another part of her workshop. Okay, that was like a crazy quest and it was like crazy hard too. I'm surprised I didn't level up from that. Are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Oh, rest assured I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without repayment. My agents picked up a trail along the... Ooh. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact... Ooh. Ooh. Someone must have sold her out. Someone must have been like, yo, here's a girl. Broken promises. Someone sold the girl out. Are these all like potions? What are these? Heart of Stone. Insanity's Kiss. The names are hilarious. Lovers... Avaris? Avarice? Oh, that's a portal. Oh, it's a way out. Do you think that the bog is gonna turn good now that I've I've cleared the, the bog out and I, I cleared the witch out? Oh, where am I? Walking on air. Carlag is inspired. Oh, more to her. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if we inspired her a little bit. I didn't hear you coming. I know we should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. Oh, I did pick up a wand. Are you all right? You could just leave him here. Whining will get you stand with her silence. I found a wand. Can I actually? What? Yeah, can we try? You can. I don't know. I picked something up. I was not going to pick this up. I'm so glad I did. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. I have a feeling that if we do, it's going to fight us. Oh, no. Point the wand at the co- I, I'm so curious. I'm curious. Point it at the coffin. This will put our mind at ease, right? <laughs> what? What's happening? Why is he still dead? You feel something pull at you. The creature. You oh, <laughs> a master. <laughs> oh, this is disturbing as hell. What have you done to him? Huh? The creature's bound to this wand. How useful. So the hag's fu hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? But this isn't what she promised. I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this. This is your husband. Do you want him or not? Don't worry, I have the wand. I'll make use of him. We can always bury him again. This is your husband. Do you want him or not? Connor? Connor? <laughs> I don't even know if he's in there, but he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Wow, good on you. Oh, oh, here's the wand. Good luck to you and Connor. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any use for the wand. I don't care for some dead guy. Thanks, but we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember, and thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Oh my god, this is so creepy! Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Probably not. The milk's already spilled. I, 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 I thought that was the great- I thought that was a great idea, honestly. I think that was the best outcome possible. It's not like we could have actually gotten Auntie Ethel to actually- Oh, could we have gone through the back? Oh, that's annoying. I should have tried the door. It's not like Auntie Ethel was actually going to let her go and then cure- gear the husband there's no way wow this side quest adventure was difficult as crap it was so hard i wasn't even i wasn't even gonna pick up that wand that's what's crazy about this is that one little tiny thing that i did i could have walked past all the stuff on the counter and been like all right bye and it would have given me completely different options i'm happy i'm happy that i actually got to kill the witch i i was contemplating walking away for the night and then just being like yeah i don't think i'm gonna beat her 
oh well. But that was fun. It was fun because I actually was able to do it. It took me like four tries. And the problem was the way that I had to get down to anti Ethel's. But once I did get down there, it was all good from there. Thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I've been playing since sun up to sundown. I'm trying to get ahead of these videos in a better way. So I hope you guys are still enjoying. This one was a little bit longer than I'd anticipated. But since this, the last one was so short, I want to do them in like little tiny chapters because I know that once I went into that the hag's lair, it was going to be like a really long fight. And I'm actually really happy that I did separate them out because even though one episode ended up being shorter than the others, it allows you to digest them a little bit better and the story a little bit better, especially when you chop them up and you kind of do them in order, I guess. And so even if it was like a shorter episode than normal, you'll usually get something in the long run where it's a longer episode later on. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Not tomorrow's video. Monday's video. No, wait. Yeah, tomorrow's video. My schedule got all mixed up this week. So don't mind me. My statement still stands. I'll see you guys in the vid <laughs> in tomorrow's video. Mwah.